this is Tim. And this is Amber. And someone recently asked whether we could explain the difference between a photoelectric switch and a proximity sensor. So we were getting ready to ship out one of our stoplight trainers and thought we'd take a quick video just to show a little bit of the different type of sensors. This is only a small amount of the huge variety of sensors that are out there on the market. Uh, we may do a bigger video on sensor types if this turns out to be um, something that you are interested in. So this is our standard stoplight trainer. First, down here we have a mechanical switch. I mean, and this is really, you're pushing it down and it's making a set of contacts that are turning on the light. Now, now just on a side note, uh, most people think that this is how stoplight sensors work. That's why you see the guys on the motorcycle sitting there trying to bounce up and down, trying to press the sensor down. And it doesn't work like that. It works like this capacitive proc sensor up here. And so this one you can see, I touch on and nothing happens. And that's because my hand doesn't have enough metal in it to collapse the magnetic field. But if I take something such as my screwdriver, you can see that it will collapse the magnetic field and turn the lights on. Now both of these are normally open style sensors. That's why you see them off when they're at rest. And then we have these two, which are normally closed sensor, which means they're on when they're not being tripped. Both of these are photoelectric sensors. And so that means that they're shooting a light beam out. And in this the case of these, they also have a receiver in them that is looking for the light to come back. Now this is a diffuse style. What that means is it's pretty much looking for any light. So if I stick my hand over it, it'll, it'll trip the sensor. If I stick a screwdriver over it, it'll trip the sensor. Pretty much anything will let a little light reflect back to this. And that's what's tripping this sensor. This style over here is a reflective style product. So you can see I stick my hand over it and it won't trip. And that's because it is looking for a specific reflection. So Amber has some reflective tape here. If you stick it over it, you can see it'll turn on and off. Till next time. See ya. I need a beat. Boom, boom, tsh, boom. Yeah, give you me know Michael. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> give me a beat. <laughs> what have you done for me lately? Oh, yeah. Or what about ABC? <laughs> no. Or my first name ain't Janet. It's Vanessa. Jackson. <laughs> first name ain't. Janet. Baby, it's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, my first name ain't Baby. It's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Nasty. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we could turn this into a Simon Says game. Remember that from the eighties? No, what's that? It's where you had like the four colors and then they give you a sequence and you had to match the sequence really and it was really fast. <laughs> I mean we have four. We can push that in. Oh, that's the wrong one. There you go friends. If you can come up with a Simon Says program either for a Micro 820 or a Micro 1100 then uh, we'll come up with some special coupon code for you. I would just give them an ALP too if they no do way. that. Heck yeah, that's ALP. a lot of work. That would be super fun. Okay, Amber will give you an ALP too. That's right. If, if somebody develops a game. Now, now it's got to be top notch, so for an ALP too. You can see our children. It's fine. For those of you who didn't know, we have two children that are almost always in the background. You don't need to do anything funny. And usually we have to cut out something funny that they do. I thought we were the funny ones. <laughs> I think they'll beg to differ in the comments. Do <laughs> you want to reach and touch her or do you want? I will reach and touch her. Okay. My nails don't look good. Her nails don't look good, so I will have to do it. It's reach. okay because I need to be real. I, I need a manicure. No, manicures are important. Anyway. Okay. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.